Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. Welcome to the Tilton Farm. Uh, this was a farm that was my in-laws and I took over when they passed away and opened it to the public. The Mr. Tilton's real dream was to have a show place and he did while he was alive. He, this was really a show place for the, and still is a very nice place. So uh, he, he transformed it in from, from an old rough looking place to a, a, a really a show place for, of the country. My in-laws uh, really believed in preserving history and they were big on family, so some of the items are from their family and um, my father-in-law just wanted a place to exhibit the items that were near and dear to their heart that they had collected over the years. He wanted to have a place that he could show his antiques and uh, display them permanently and uh, therefore that's uh, the antique barn, the circus building, the log cabin, all that was part of his dream of what he wanted to do. The barn is from the 1850s and it's full of just about everything. We have slot machines, a Civil War collection, we have guns and swords, all kinds of glassware from cranberry, ruby, crystal. He had a friend, uh, uh, she was a retired school teacher and she, her, her farm was in uh, by uh, Pandora and, and this old barn was part of her farm and she gave this barn to Mr. Tilton and, and we went up there and physically marked every piece, took it down piece by piece, brought it back down here and put it back up just like you're looking at there. The log cabin that we have came from over by Alger Herod area and it's a two-story log cabin with a very large kitchen and fireplace. It's set up with the furniture in the living room and the tables set up with, with your china of those days um, as if you could sit down and have a meal. It has the old stove has the fireplace that has the brick ovens in it. We've done the same thing, tore it down. It's not, not very far from here. It's on Clom Road. Uh, it's only a few miles and did it the same way. Put it back up and then, then got an extra cabin. Uh, that original cabin did not have a, a loft or an upstairs. And we put the, uh, we got another cabin, tore it down and, and put the upstairs on there. One of the highlights of our farm is our circus room. The circus started to go together probably in 1974. We made the trip in 74 to go down and get the circus. And then in 75, they did the painting and got it set up and did a lot of the work. So it was a couple year process. It belonged to my mother-in-law's brother-in-law and uh, he had given up showing it. So he offered it to my family if my father-in-law would build a building to put it in. So we built the building. Um, it was hand painted on the walls, which everybody always remarks about how pretty the clowns and the elephants and the lions are on the wall. We also have carousel horses, um, clowns, we've got a cage with wild animals, and that's where our alligator lives too. The alligator came from Florida. Um, he's been here about 25, 26 years. He just happened to be a souvenir that uh, came home. and. Uh, He's done really well. Um, I fish for him about three times a week and keep him well fed, and then we keep him inside all the time, and he's in where it's warm and well taken care of. And then we also have a carriage house that is um, full of Model Ts, Thunderbirds, uh, a 53 Corvette, a fire truck, and um, just all kinds of old cars. Now we have a kind of an older, settled collection of Model As, Model T, um, five Thunderbirds. Um, we have a couple family cars that were my mother-in-law's, the Chrysler 300 and um, New Yorker. And um, the fire truck came from my father-in-law and some of the local businessmen were collecting old fire trucks to send down to Central America. And uh, they did it as a project to help out with fire departments that didn't have trucks down there. And he kind of fell in love with the buffalo truck because at the time he was raising buffalo. It, it's really fascinating for people to walk into a room and see that many different cars in a building inside with carpet. So um, it, it's fun for the boys to tinker with and it, it gives us a lot of conversation. My in-laws spent their life um, acquiring the items and everything in here was important to them for one reason or another. This was just part of his dream. He, he, he loved uh, antiques, he, he collected them and, and, and this is just something that he wanted to do. So uh, it turned out to be a, a real treat for this area. My in-laws were very civic minded. They did a lot of community events and had um, the YMCA boys camp out here and had the 
a Methodist minister party out here every year. Um, they were very involved in their church and the wise, so they had a lot of uh, civic activities out here that they did for free for the public. Never a better person in the world to work for than Mr. Tilton. He was just fantastic, and and uh, we just became a good team, and and, and uh, it was it was just something that was awesome. It's hard to explain how great it was to be a part of this. You could come along, you know. Looking forward, the, the history of Tilton Farm, I would love to see it keep going with my children and my grandchildren. I don't know if that's something they'll be interested in down the road, but that's something I'd like to see. If not, we've also talked about um, different options of how to keep it going and keep it funded. But right now I'm enjoying being the manager of it and, and uh, running it and, and keep trying to keep things up. It's a full-time job, but it, it's fun to keep it going. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.